Hey YouTube, talking about Bannon, I'm a day late. But Bannon, you know, being out of the White House, is this good or bad? I read a Roger Stone article and he laid out all the reasons that Bannon's usefulness, usefulness was gone, why he was time for him to go. And he talked about Bannon's views, how he's he, he's good with the president, you know, he talks to the president and his sanity about war and all this other stuff, but he's done nothing to protect the Trump supporters in the White House. He doesn't even get involved. When, when all these people are getting fired and hired, the bad, wrong people, he just doesn't get involved. And that he hasn't done much for us as the American people for being a populist in the White House. He's, he's, he stayed, acted like he's been above this. And that Stone said, you know, there's no sense to have him in there. And, and maybe maybe he can do better at Breitbart. I think he's going to be better to fight. He's going to be able to fight better at Bar Bright, Breitbart. But the left thinks they got another scalp. You know, look at the string of scalps they have got. It's just not good optics. It's bad for us. The president, I believe, like, oh, I forget the guy's name. But he was on, Millie Weaver had him on. Name's Lee something. And he actually worked for Breitbart at one time. And he talked about it, that there's just no doubt that President Trump has been co-opted. He has been influenced by, by Ivanka and Jared and the globalists. And he is going down the wrong road. And I believe that's very likely true. You know, he's defending McMasters. And it just looks, it just appears like he has really been co-opted to an extent. Now, Trump is still the person he, he always was. He's still going to fight against certain things. He's still going not going to be a George Bush or an Obama. But to an extent, he's been co-opted. He, he started buying into some of the neocon beliefs, especially when it comes to war and things that he's never been really strong on. You know, he's never, another thing Stone had said is he tried to get Trump to look into the Bundy-Hammond case and pardon them, and it never got to Trump. Bannon never showed him, you know. And this is huge. You guys need to research the Bannons and the Bundys. I made a video on this that hardly got any views a few months ago, like 30 views. This is a very important case. The trial is going on right now. They're getting railroaded. They're not even allowed witnesses. They're not even allowed witnesses in the courtroom. And you guys probably say, that's impossible. No, this is the truth. This was a hand-picked woman who Chuck Schumer wanted it wanted in there and she's not allowing them witness total railroad total anti-american no court it's, it's it's a fake court you guys gotta look at it. it's lok ranch is their youtube channel they have like 800 subscribers no one cares this is something that's important now back to bannon let's hope that this is good let's hope that trump wakes up if trump keeps down this road and, and i'll always support trump as long as he's in office to, to a degree anyway. But if if he doesn't wake up and see what's happening, then, then make America great again agenda is over. Just is. You cannot make America great again with a swamp full of neocons, alligators, hippopotamuses like he's got in that White House. I have no confidence in his generals at all. You know, Matt, Mathis, you know, or Mattis maybe, you know, maybe he's okay for certain things. I still think he's probably a neocon. Kelly, McMasters, these people are Obama people. And like Tucker Carlson said, the whole White House is full of Democrats. There's almost no one in the White House that would not be comfortable being in Hillary Clinton's cabinet. Maybe Bannon, Stephen Miller, and maybe Kellyanne Conway. That's about it. Now Bannon's gone. So basically we have Stephen Miller and Kellyanne Conway left in there and Gorka. That's it. The rest are Democrats and globalists. So guys, if you believe in praying, pray like 7th century monks. If you don't believe in praying, at least fight. We, we've got to get the word to President Trump that we don't want these people in there. His rallies, we have to start screaming, chanting at his rallies. People have to start chanting. Fire the neocons. Get rid of Dina Powell. And just, we still have to start coming up with the people. We have to make let him know how we feel. And you got to get on his Twitter and fight back on Twitter. That's big. I'm sure that they see some of that stuff, guys. Let's, let's just hope that things get better, guys. It's not a good sign to me that Bannon's out. Um, we just don't have many populists in the White House. Stephen Miller, like I said, that's about it. And Gorka, maybe.
and they're going to go next. If Trump doesn't wake up, they will go. I promise you that Ivanka and Jared are right now trying to get rid of Stephen Miller and Gorka. That's it on that for now. Peace, guys.